It's my birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. It's really not though. <laughs> Because by the time I'm actually filming this video, my birthday is actually tomorrow. But by the time I think you are watching this, it's Sunday. <laughs> so it's really not my birthday. But of course, guys, every single year, as you know, I like to do a birthday makeup tutorial. So of course, guys, if you want to know how I got this look, then just keep on watching. And here's the 28. Woo! <laughs> First off, I'm going to start with a wee shadow shield and because these are like quite big I just like to cut these up and I've noticed I still get the odd wee comment as to where I get these eBay eBay or Amazon so then I'll just have these just like so I really haven't got a clue what I'm going to be doing today on my eyes. I do have the Natasha Denona palette here. This is the gold palette. Of course, whenever it is my birthday, I like to feel a wee bit bougie and use my expensive makeup or like my favourites or something. So that's obviously what I'm going to be using also in today's video. Kind of like my favourites, my go-to makeup, etc. And my expensive makeup too. <laughs> Just thought I'd change my hair as well. <laughs> okay, so going into the Natasha Denona palette, and I'm just going to start off with a transition. I think I'm actually just going to take this top one here, actually, just as my transition. I'm going to take on this big fluffy brush. You know, I really haven't a clue what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, so we have our transition and I've actually just went and grabbed a wee pigment. I've decided to go with a wee pigment. So I have this loose pigment from Peaches and Cream in the shade Gatsby. Can't go wrong with that pigment. It's beautiful. And I'm just going to pop that just in the crease but keeping it at the outer corner. And I might actually just bring that down onto the lid as well actually. So guys, for my birthday, I actually don't think I have any plans as of yet. I just know that I'm actually just going out like on Saturday night and I take in this darker shade here. And then on Sunday, I'm sure some of you can relate, um, Kyle is obsessed with cars. He's a car boy, okay? He doesn't do football, he doesn't do sports, he's just into cars. He breaks cars, not hearts, and I'm pretty okay with that. Um, <laughs> that was like the cheesiest thing I've actually ever said on YouTube. Wow. Of course, on Sunday, the day after my birthday, there is some car run. Basically, all these people meet up with a certain type of car and they just drive around the country. Everybody has to meet in Letterkenny, which is, of course, across the border. I'm obviously from the north, whereas Letterkenny is down south. So from where I'm from, it will take at least about maybe an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes to actually get to there. So I honestly think we're going to have to get up at like five or six in the morning just to go to this stupid car thing. <laughs> I am not one bit impressed. But you know what? I'm happy enough with it because do you know what? He does things for me. He goes places for me. Um, so... This is something I do for him. <laughs> well, it's not that I do it for him. You know, it's like things that we just do together, I suppose. But I couldn't give a rat's arse, to be honest. I have the most basic ass car. My car goes from not to 60 in like two to three working days. And I'm happy enough with that. I don't care. I'm going to be taking this wee liquid eyeshadow from Beauty Bay. It's actually within their own brand. I'm not too sure if you can actually get these anymore, but if you can, I'll of course I'll link it down below. And it's in the shade, I think it's Pirate. Either Pirate or Pyrite. As I was saying, I'm going to be taking the Peaches and Cream pigment, but I'm going to be using this um, on the lid first of all to kind of give this pigment something to kind of like stick to. This is beautiful. Look. Gorgeous. Oh my. And I'm actually just going to use my finger to just kind of like disperse it over a bit and just place that on just in the inner corner, bringing that right up to that crease. Also, just using my finger. And this is just going to like lift up any of the excess that's on the lid, but it's also going to press the pigment into the eye, <laughs> the lid. 
And just going in tap in motions like around the edge will just kind of like disperse it a wee bit so it just doesn't look as crisp. So you can see the way like there's no harsh line there at all. That's kind of what you want. So I'm obviously going to go back into the palette now and rebuild up the outer corner shade. Rebuild up. That's a first. Rebuild up. This palette here. Look at the way I'm holding this palette. Am I for real? <laughs> it's like the most expensive palette ever or that I own. <laughs> it's like nearly a hundred pound for this palette and I'm holding it as if it's diseased. Okay, so I'm now going to be taking the ColourPop Grandeur palette. So this wee palette has a pressed glitter in the center of it here. And I'm just going to take the tiniest wee bit of this. I've actually nearly hit pan on this shade, I'm not even joking. I'm going to be taking this wee liquid liner now from Maven Beauty. For my mascara, I'm going to be using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Like how pretty this packaging is. And then for my lashes, again, I'm going to be taking the ones I was using in my tutorial a couple of days ago. And these are from Be Perfect Cosmetics and they are the Jack Jusa Universal Lashes. So for primer, I'm going to be taking the Becca Backlight Primer Filter. Of course, as she is now, Becca is closing down, I think is it maybe next year? or something which is sad <laughs> because I actually quite like Becca um I haven't got a lot of their products but the products that I do have I really like and I really enjoy but especially their primers this just gives your skin just that gorgeous gorgeous wee glow like it's not the type of glow that it looks really artificial but it just looks just more soft and blurred on the skin it's just really really nice. I'm going to be taking the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I do apologise that like I use this foundation all the time and you should probably be absolutely scunnered with me using this but I love it. <laughs> it's honestly like one of my favourite foundations. It's so so good. I was going to use my Marc Jacobs foundation but again there's no point in actually using it because it's discontinued so you wouldn't be able to purchase it or anything so. And so I'll just use this sweet one. I do apologise, I know that triggers some people. <laughs> Me putting foundation on my lips, but I can't not. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just making sure to make sure that's really well pressed in to my skin. And for concealer, I'm going to be taking my Tarte Shape Tape. Ooh, the sun's coming out finally. Oh, the smell of this concealer. It's nearly getting to the point where it's nearly nostalgic. <laughs> Do you know, this would actually be a really pretty bridal makeup look if you were somebody that wore makeup like this. If it's your makeup style, go for it on your wedding day. I think it would be really, really pretty actually. Really, really nice. Talking about bridal makeup actually, this is something I feel like I need to address. Well, not really address, but I just kind of feel like I need to mention it. But yeah, I've been getting a lot of comments recently from you guys asking for a bridal makeup look. Now, this hasn't been just all of a sudden. I've been asked this for quite some time now, but for some reason, all of a sudden, <laughs> I seem to be getting the requests like more frequently. And I'm so sorry, guys. I will never do a bridal makeup look. I am so so sorry. I just know. <laughs> and I don't know why. I just think like my makeup style to me personally I don't feel is bridal and I feel like I will be ultimately crucified for it. But however as I was saying there you could take this as a bridal makeup so here we go. 
film. On your wedding day, I feel like you just need to be so much more aware of like the prep of your makeup and just your products and this and that and the other and I don't have any like makeup education or anything I just slap products on my face and hope for the best you know so I don't actually feel like I would be able to like educate you in some areas or something probably one of the best bridal makeup trials I have watched is Jaclyn Hill because she goes into so much depth and detail about every product and why she's using it and the prep of the skin and everything so I kind of feel like I just wouldn't be able to do that I don't know I don't know I'm just I'm so sorry <laughs> although do you know what I actually think that this would be really really beautiful as bridal makeup and like especially for me because this look is very very me but yeah I think this would actually look really pretty as bridal makeup <sighs> how did this how did my birthday makeup turn into like bridal I do not know <laughs> um I'm gonna do like the tiniest wee bit of beckon light with the hourglass veil powder just on my Andre's and like my smile lines and stuff next up for highlight my lips I am going to be taking this one from Maven Beauty when she had draped up Okay, so just a nice light wee dust just all over just for the occasion I'm gonna be taking my Inglot sparkling dust. So I just like to just use that just like on the highest point on my cheekbone really. <gasps> my blush, I'm gonna be taking this one from Patrick Ta and it's in the shade She's passionate this is such a beautiful blush one thing i love about it which is weird is the fact that it's like as you can see it's not really heavily pigmented it's just like a nice wee wash of color but i just love it i think it's absolutely beautiful because it's just gorgeous like it's such a pretty color and it just looks so pretty on the skin and i have my makeup forever pro bronze fusion it's nearly done and i'm trying to ease up <laughs> only quick I do my lower lash line here I'm probably just going to take the transition shade that I took and just run that just along my lower lash line because I'm actually not wanting to make this look too smoky actually I think it's really really nice the way it is because it does look like really nice full glam slash soft glam and I don't want to make it like too dark and smoky because just because that's literally it <laughs> And just run that just along my lower lash line just to kind of define it a wee bit more and just give it a wee bit of something do i want to do lower lash line mascara i'll do a wee bit sure why not so i'm just going to do the tiniest bit of mascara just at the outer corner boom <laughs> I love it! Do you know, I'm actually so happy with how this look has turned out. I am so, I'm so happy right now! <laughs> I think all we need to do guys is the lips and that's us. I'm actually just going to do like my ultimate go-to nude lip at the minute. So I'm just going to take any lip liner from Colourpop. My favourite one at the minute is actually the BFF3. It's definitely like a nice dark lip liner. Like a nice dark nude, sorry. And then I'm going to be taking my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Stockholm. I actually had to get this out of my handbag because this is the lipstick that goes everywhere with me. This is like my go-to like everyday lipstick by the way. Just in case you want to know that. <laughs> I love it. It's so good. It kind of has like a rosy undertone to it and I just kind of find that because of that it just makes it perfect for everyday. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. I'm just 
gonna go off camera now and figure out what on God's beautiful green earth I am going to do with this hair. I'm actually really tempted to put a wig on, but I don't want to <laughs> because I feel like you will straight at me. But this is the best I can do, unfortunately. So we're just gonna have to call this my birthday hair. <laughs> I look like a freaking Jimbo the Clown. <laughs> Jimbo the Clown's very hot wife. <laughs> but of course guys, thank you so, so much for watching and hanging out with me today. I hope you all enjoyed. All the products that I use will be a little late down below in the description box and along with my Instagram. So don't forget to go and follow me on there. And also don't forget to go and enter into my giveaway. I will also have that video linked and listed down below as well. It's my zero to hundred hair and makeup video that I just uploaded a couple of days ago so yeah guys again thank you so so much for watching I swear it's like word vomit <laughs> um yeah and I hope to see you in my next video I hope you're all staying safe and well please be kind to look after yourselves and each other and I shall see you in my next video